Hello everyone, this is Kibastik, next to me Ihor, the champion of Ukraine in various puzzle solving events, among which are Rubik's Cubes and other puzzles. And today we decided to compare our collections. And what collections? Of WCA puzzles. Tell us what is WCA. These are the official events that Speedcubers take part in. We think this is interesting because our collections are very different and our results in speedcubing are different too. Ihor is able to solve all this uh, much faster than me and today we will compare our collections. Because my collection costs... <gasps> and we will say that at the end of the video. That's the intrigue. Let's go? Let's go. What do we do first? Let's start with the most popular event 3x3. Ok, come on, what's your 3? But look, we have a few cubes 3x3. Uh, three three. Here, for example, I have 3 cubes and you have 2. Explain why do you need 2? I solved this one with 2 hands as the main one and the other one is for solving with 1 hand. There's an event solving a Rubik's cube with 1 hand and for that Ihor has another cube. I have 3 Rubik's cubes and I don't care if I solve them with 1 hand or 2, there are basically no difference. This is just the last three cubes, uh, the last three generations of uh, the Gen cube. We're not counting Maglev 13 because it has not reached us yet. Here we have uh, 12 Maglev, uh, this cube, am I right? Uh, no, uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm such a blogger that I don't understand anything. The most expensive Rubik's cube in my collection, 12 Maglev, looks like this. Here, as you may remember, uh, magnetic levitation and, as you can see, the side is turning itself. I have three of these cubes and uh, I solved them uh, randomly. You have one cube specially for one event and another one for another and I just solved the one I randomly get out of my bag. I don't care at all because I'm not that professional. And also uh, three Rubik's cubes is uh, the maximum possible number you can use in a special event uh, three by three fewer moves. Tell me about yours now. Uh, this is Mafeng uh, Tornado V3 Pioneer version, the most expensive one. I usually solve it with uh, two hands and my average at uh, WCA is 719. 719 your official average? The national record is 730. It's so close. It's cool and you're setting records with this cube? May I try? Yes. And you can try my... Oh, it's, uh, it's so tough. It's turning so slow in my hands, uh, not slow, but well controlled, there are no harsh moves. Even if I try to do it quick, the movement is uh, still smooth. Your cube uh, needs uh, some um, lubrication and uh, cleaning because you are not uh, very good at maintaining cubes, uh, maybe you don't have the time or uh, the capacity. And desire and, desire. and sense. <laughs> uh, when the cube is uh, unsuitable, I just uh, buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for me. Let's then try to solve a 3x3 cube and see what the result will be. You scramble my cube and I scramble yours. Ready? Yep. 3, 2, start. 666, six, six. <laughs> haha. Why do I need the best cube when I have such result? I am now afraid to sit at the same table with you. Okay, and how this cube is different from the previous? Well, uh, this is Moyu Super RS 3M. Super Pro Max RM 3S Pro 256 GB. Well, here is a little less technology. You can even see uh, the magnets uh, that uh, can be customized. Yeah, I see. And here is uh, no magnets and uh, a simpler mechanism. Is there no magnets? It is still magnetic. It is magnetic, but uh, they are not visible. By the way, uh, it's uh, pretty cool uh, for one hand. Let me try to solve it and you try mine. 3, 2, start. It's so cool. Oh, less than 15 seconds. How much? Oh, I need... I need to practice. Come on! Oh, 30, just fine. Well done, the 3x3 three three was uh, the most trivial thing that could be compared. But each next puzzle will be even more and more interesting. Let's move on. What is your favorite event at competitions? For now, it's Mega Minx. Let's move on to it then. Mega Minx. I can see some Chinese uh, hieroglyphs. As you can see, I have uh, again Mega Minx. Uh, a logo has already been partially erased due to the fact that I sold it too many times. This is the first version of Mega Minx and I have not found better for myself than this cube. Tell me please... Uh, 
Is your cube is different from mine and why is it better or worse? About a year after the release of Gen Magamins, a budget cube from UJ was released. But it already has magnets. Yes, it is magnetic, it costs $15, it is not difficult to adjust it and bring it to a pleasant condition. That's why most European and world record holders use this cube. But uh, I see here some patterns on the sides, uh, the circle, uh, for what? This is uh, so that we can clinch to the sides with our fingers and it is easier to turn under any conditions. And uh, if you look very closely at my cube, uh, here every part uh, is slightly concave inside. There is a hardly visible tiny dent on every corner. And uh, when I slide my fingers, I'm comfortable uh, holding onto it. It's cool, but look, uh, yours is a few millimeters bigger than mine, am I right? Mm, well, uh, here uh, these uh, borders uh, still make uh, the puzzle look bigger, but in general uh, these cubes are uh, the same size. Maybe a bit. When I hold yours in my hands, uh, it seems bigger. And also interesting that uh, you have a black side here. Why is it black? Why is it so? Uh, there is a stage like OLL, the stage of solving a last upper layer. This is what it looks like on my cube. Because of the black side, you can see all the details and uh, what the algorithm looks like. Well, yes, uh, with the grey color everything merges uh, into one and it's harder to determine. And I immediately see that here we have for example soon. Yes, your Megaminx has brighter colors. If you look at mine and yours, yours looks more saturated. Let's try to solve. I want to remind that Ihor is a record holder in Megamins. Yes. In Ukraine nobody solves it faster than you. Yes. Now let's see if I can do it. Let's see. 3, 2, start. What's there? Oh, very slow. <laughs> what? Slow? Minute 48, so the difference bad! Is a minute. Damn! I now understand it's uh, three times cheaper. Yep. But it is possible to solve it much faster. It took me a minute longer than you. This once again confirms that budget puzzles can be solved very quickly. Yeah, it is not necessary to have the fastest, best cube to solve quickly. Once my favorite event was 4x4. Do you know why? Why? Because I once had a cool cube in my hands. It was not this cube. If you remember, it was such Gen 4x4 in my collection, but I destroyed it. Very spectacularly. Since then, I don't solve 4x4, but Iher advised me this cube, because he has exactly the same. Yes, only you have a logo on the yellow side. I did it on purpose. I specially made the logo on the yellow side, because uh, these cubes are very popular at competitions now. So in order not to confuse, I uh, glued the logo on the yellow side. Guys, don't do that, or we will mix up the cube uh, with you in the competition. Glue it on the green side. At the next competition, everyone will come with the logo on the green 20 side. 20 cubes with logo on the green. What should we do? So, these are the same cubes and uh, you advised me them. Tell me why this is the best cube to solve at competitions. Look, first, this cube is uh, the size of a 3x3 cube, 56 mm. Uh, it means uh, that if you compare it uh, to any other 4x4, this cube is uh, smaller. Uh, this is a 4x4 mini cube. And the one on the left is the standard size of it. How much this uh, 5 mm difference affect? Sometimes, when you look at the cube straight, you see all the details and uh, it helps you to find uh, the right parts and turn uh, the cube uh, further. And I thought it was uh, just uh, to be handy. Of course, uh, and the smaller the cube, the lighter it is. This should be considered too. You can practice longer and it will be more pleasant. And what are your 4x4 scores? Well, in the best of times I solved it in less than 30 seconds. Less than half a minute? That's an impossible result for me. Well, I got it, let's try to solve them. I will scramble your cube and you mine. It turns identically, no difference. We have them all the same. 
3, 2, start, here we go. Okay, I sold in 33, it's a bit left for you. Ah, isn't this a good result? 56. The same cubes, different speed cubers. here's the result. Okay, we will leave uh, the biggest cubes for later and now we will move on to the smallest. 2 by 2 is the cube that could be solved really fast. Yes. The fastest event at WCA. Why? Look, this puzzle requires uh, the least amount of moves and uh, it's one of the most convenient puzzles for speed solving. Well, I was never comfortable turning 2x2 two two because I used to solve 3x3. Uh, three three. As you can see, actually I have have problems with solving cubes. Ok, how do our 2x2 two two differ? I don't even remember how this 2x2 two two got in my collection. This seems to be a Vogue, uh, what version? I think it's usual Maybe Vogue. you are right. But magnetic. And yours? I also have magnetic, uh, this is a Moyu Weipo VRM. Moyu Weipo? Yes. Funny name. Let me try to turn. At first glance they don't differ, yours is 1mm smaller than mine. But... Wow, it's so controlled! That was my problem, I just didn't have such a cool 2x2, two two, so I'm bad at it. Maybe. And how fast can you solve a 2x2? Two two? Well, it's just uh, that I solve it uh, like you solve a 3x3. Three three. <laughs> my average is 2-3 uh, seconds. Let's there are people who can solve in half a second. By the way, I had this experience once. Awesome. So let's try. 3 to start. That's the difference. I told you I have 6 seconds and you 2 seconds. How is that possible? Let's move on. Among these puzzles, uh, there is a one that is very different from all the cubes because it is not a cube. It is a circle. It's I don't know. Yeah, it's a circle. This puzzle is called Rubik's clock. Let's look at it closer. Here on each side uh, there are 9 dials and uh, the puzzle task is to place all the arrows so that uh, they point at 12 o'clock. We can use gears like this and uh, push or lift buttons. And uh, by combining uh, the movement uh, of buttons and the movement of gears we move different groups of dials. It sounds difficult, but it is easy enough to solve. Now you're gonna scramble it to me. And now, uh, wait a second, as you can see our clocks are very different. First you have some magnets here. Are they just glued on top? Tell me how they work. Look, uh, these magnets are designed uh, to hold uh, these uh, buttons. I have this uh, system made simpler. I have uh, the whole magnetic system hidden inside. I remember very old clocks, uh, like this one in your hands, <laughs> that were completely without magnets. And the big problem was uh, that the buttons weren't fixed. You press them and they just fall down. And uh, it was really hard. And now you see I have a more modern version of the clock, my fan clock. It looks more modern and inside there's... How many magnets? Do you remember? Oh. More than the number of likes under this video. More than 200, 280 or uh, 180. Well, write in the comments how many magnets there are. For each turn of each gear on each dial, inside are two magnets. And, uh, and uh, several magnets on the buttons. A lot. 100 or more. I think more. But uh, the interesting thing is uh, that this puzzle can really be solved faster if you buy a more expensive model. And it will be difficult at a cheap one. Let's compete. Start. 15 seconds. Very bad. Is that the only puzzle where I... <laughs> where I win? And you didn't solve it at all. <laughs> well, okay, I'm cooler in this puzzle. I used to love solving pyramids. I had such a thing that I took first place three times in a row in competitions, but it was a long, long time ago. Even before I started. Yeah, before you started, really. I loved the pyramids uh, because uh, it can be solved quickly. And I was solving it quickly. What is a pyramid? Uh, this is Yuxin Little Magic. This doesn't say anything to me because uh, I stopped at uh, Bell version. 
Aha, X-Men. Yep. X-Men Bell Pyramids Magnetic. It is probably six or seven years old. This Pyramids is six years old, but it is still turning well. How old is your Pyramids? One or two years. It is new. <gasps> I realized the difference. It's much faster, and here you have a colored plastic inside, and uh, I have white. Here, look, Premium you plastic. have green inside, and I have white. Nice, but both yours and mine is magnetic. I will say that yours is uh, lighter. Even with the magnets. Yes, even with the magnets. I wonder how much time do you need? From 4 to 8. <laughs> okay, then I from 2 to 10. Let's try. 3 to start. <laughs> I can oh. solve the cube. Anyway, my result is a little better. You know, I feel so nostalgic. It's been so long since I've speed solved uh, such a thing. Really, it's been so long since I've solved anything but 3 by 3. But uh, we have the most interesting puzzles ahead. The youngest event in WC. Yes, and this is cube. Tell us why it is the youngest. It was added in 2014. It's uh, just uh, when you started. It was, uh, I think, my first, no, second year of Speedcubing. I took part in competitions before I got to know such puzzles existed. And few years later it appeared at official competitions. And at first competition where Scube was allowed, every minute, every minute new national record was set. It's awesome. I wish and I could see. And one of these record holders is filming us now. It's a puzzle that's hard to hold in the hands if you are a beginner. It has a very strange uh, shape. Usually cubes are turned like this. You take them, you turn them aside, and no matter how many parts uh, there are in the cube. And here the side doesn't turn, here the corner is turned diagonally together with the corner. Like this. Although there are not many details, it is difficult to solve it. Look, even if you just visually compare our cubes, you can see how different they are. I have more cubic and yours is more concave. Yes, it has uh, space inside, it's like... Uh... I think this shape is more convenient to hold in hand. So, let's try to solve them. Let's try. I just have to recall how to solve it. <laughs> 3 to start. I have something wrong. 521. Oh well. 10. I forgot how to do it. See, the next puzzle I think is the most difficult. This is this miracle. It is not often found at competitions. Very rarely it is solved in competitions, because the puzzle is very difficult. It looks like a cube, but if you make few moves, it loses shape, and this is its complexity. By the way, you have black instead of yellow. I have yellow, you have black. Is it visible as bad as on Megamings? There are only six colors. Well. It just uh, adds more contrast and black and white uh, looks nice together. Yeah, a lot of algorithms require this kind of movement when the yellow and white are next to each other, for example in a situation like this. You need to understand uh, very quickly where the color is. Two light colors can blend together when you turn it so fast, and you have a really high contrast. My square is so old uh, that it's the only puzzle with stickers in my collection. Years ago, all puzzles were with stickers, and only in 2015 or 2016 they began to create uh, colored cubes. When I started taking part in competitions, the colored plastic cubes were banned at competition. You couldn't use uh, them because uh, you could uh, see. Uh, now I see three colors, white, yellow and orange, and if I make a little movement like this, I can see red from here and yellow from here. And uh, it seems to help me somehow, but uh, no one really... No one uses it. Yeah, no one. And soon they were allowed. So let's get back to... Square. You understood, it has stickers, so it's very old. It's really 7-8 years old. Yeah, for sure. And 
in these eight years I never sold it, so I completely forgot how to do but it. But I'm interested in turning yours. Tell me about your cube. Oh, not cube, square. And this is MG7 magnetic. <gasps> oh, cool. It's so soft and uh, the magnets are so strong. Look, it's uh, like my uh, 3x3 maglev cube doing a full spin on his own. It's doing it, yeah. you see? It's very pleasant to turn it. Here it fixes not only such movement, but even like this. Okay, the most interesting thing remained at the end, a large size Rubik's cubes. Also not a frequent guest at the competitions, uh, they solve such cubes very rarely, and uh, as I understand it, you probably have the best big cubes you can find right now. Yes. While looking at my cubes, nothing special can be said, just regular big Rubik's cubes. Yes, uh, they are magnetic, uh, they are turning quite well, but I look at uh, your 7x7 and they are even visually different. Yours looks more premium, even though this is the most expensive 7x7 on the market. Or this one. Yours is probably more expensive, but the technology is developing. This cube is several years old and this one is new. Well, yours will soon be uh, 5 years old, I think. I will not even compete with you, but anyway, uh, tell about each of your big cubes and uh, compare with mine. What differences uh, do they have, except that mine are a few years older? Okay, mine are at least smaller. We can put them uh, oh, in a row. Oh, they are all. Each of them is smaller. Really? 5x5. Five five. This is the difference in size. It turns out uh, that small cubes are just easier to solve. Turns out, yes. Cool. And each of them is smaller. Okay, this is the first difference. Uh, also, they are uh, more matte. They don't shine so much. 6x6 comes out generally matte from the factory. Over the time it began to shine a little bit because of the friction of the hands against the plastic. Did you just say that you solve uh, cubes so many times that uh, they start to shine over the time? Yes. Could you rub my car a little? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very nice. It's a really interesting thing that my cubes are older and more expensive. Yours are cheaper and more modern. And uh, there is so much difference in technology. We looked at them from the outside. And if you look inside, I can't even imagine what difference it makes. And uh, we promised at the beginning of the video to say how much my puzzle collection and yours cost. How much are all your WC puzzles cost? I calculated and uh, it cost uh, about uh, 250 dollars. 250? Yes. My collection costs exactly twice as much, 500 dollars for these cubes. Write in the comments how much your puzzle collection costs and what puzzle is your favorite. If you ask so much, we will solve the most expensive WC collection and uh, maybe uh, the cheapest collection. Compare them and uh, figure out how much they uh, differ. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel because now there are two husts. It's really awesome. Say goodbye as a hust. Bye everyone, uh, watch our videos. So this is our new hust guys. Bye-bye and have a good time.